Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So today I saw some new stuff when I was going ahead and paying my new bill for Starlink. And so a couple of different pieces that I saw, they have a new cable routing kit um, and a pole mount kit that I got on order. So I'll do an unboxing of that whenever that ends up coming in the mail. But for now, I want to try and help give a little bit of a heads up showing it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first piece that we have is the pipe adapter. This is actually something that I talked about way back in one of my previous videos was like, man, this would be awesome. It has the little buttons and you can see, I mean, the buttons for it are super easy, like right there to be able to set, just click right down onto a pole. You could easily do that. And it's sweet that they made this adapter that can fit all the way up to a two and a half inch size pipe. You need a socket wrench. And I looked at the instruction packet that they have posted online, but it does not say what size like socket that you end up actually needing or anything like that. So I don't know. Um, I'm assuming just to be able to help connect up onto the different threads here. And it does have six of these to be able to go around. So it hits in a nice like triangle type of pattern, being able to help connect off of each side for those screws being able to go in there, which is really nice. Uh, it does include 40 extra cable management clips in addition. I mean, so I guess each of the different pole mounted ones comes with that many. And it's so it's really nice to be able to see that. And let's see what else we have here. The other warning that it does say on their site is talking about if you live in a high wind area and they're talking like super high wind areas, things like that, you might need to tether this thing down. So actually connecting up some type of guided wires going down either to the ground, connecting up other different spots to be able to help hold it still. Now I do know in the past, whenever I have had some point to point wireless stuff, I had it up on a tall pole that it would just sway back and forth and I would constantly lose connection. So if you do have this up, especially on like a very tall, like wooden pole, things like that, I, it would be essential to make sure to have it because if this thing is moving back and forth, even if it's a matter of inches, I, I definitely think that's going to be causing you all kinds of different issues. So really nice to be able to see this and it only costs $24 and it's free shipping, which is even better. So one thing that they are seeming to stress a lot more is the check for obstructions part of their app on the Starlink app. They do have it for iOS and Android. I tried to do my best to be able to make some QR codes so you can like kind of scan this really easy to hopefully actually get to the site if you're not already using it. Um, I do see from a lot of different people in comments that they're just completely like skipping using the Starlink router and some of the different stuff there. And it's nice. I mean, I do like it. I do think that they're doing a lot with it and it can really help out a lot and help to check on different statistics to try and see like, okay, what is going on if you're having disconnections? Um, and there is ways to be able to try to still get that on a different router, but even on their own website, on the like some of the support stuff for frequently asked questions, they don't even recommend installing third-party routers to the auxiliary port. So some of even what I've done on my own stuff of connecting up from there to be able to do an auxiliary, they're actually suggesting not doing that which is strange because on previous literature I've seen on them, they're like, well, if you need to be able to hook up more ethernet ports, hook up just like a, an ethernet switch spot. So maybe they're just thinking that different than what a router. A couple things that are trying to help really emphasize again, um, try putting it up as high as you can for most everybody that's going to be on the roof. Maybe you end up getting one of the other different mounts to be able to help put that on there. Obviously don't put it next to a wall. Um, I even myself had it to where the backside at first was facing more towards, so like the Southern side was facing towards like a, it was like my chimney at first. And then I didn't move it up on top of the roof. I didn't really notice too much of a difference, but that definitely is important, especially you want to keep that Northern area free. So anything above there, and even sometimes I would even try and go and keep even a little bit lower down in here to try and help out. But obviously, I mean, you got trees there, things like that. You need to help, like, make sure that that's not there. You need to move to a different area. Um, and so looking for stuff farther away, they're suggesting even like, hey, looking to see even farther out there, is there like a neighbor's tree that could potentially be getting in the way? Because you don't know. I mean, at different times of the day, maybe the satellite's up here, but then towards like nighttime, it's down lower. 
who knows what starts happening on there. Um, obviously, don't put it in a covered area because otherwise, how else is the satellite going to be able to even like, or the dish even going to be able to try and see up into the sky to see that? And then they're suggesting not to. So these are they say don'ts, but they're more like suggestions. Like, hey, don't like put it next to there. But I mean, you got to do what the best you can for different spots and where it's at. But if you start having issues, some of these reasons might be because you either put it on a balcony next to window seals. Obviously, covered area, it's not going to work at all. But the next thing that I'm really excited for is the cable routing kit. And so this is Starlink's address to be able to help fix the issue of having that super big ferromagnetic piece, which is essential on the cables to be able to help reduce any type of electromagnetic interference. Here we go. Um, this is also $24 and it is free shipping on it as well. But a lot of the stuff, I mean, I, I have a lot of it for a fair amount already at home, but I definitely wanted to try and help give it a shot. The biggest thing that I don't have is some of these like nice little rubber grommets to be able to help actually make this nice and tight. Because right now, I mean, I've still been trying to, I haven't put it through the wall because I haven't wanted to just have some type of like a leak point or have a spot where bugs can go in or anything else. want to try and make it nice and sealed as possible as I could. Um, We'll need to know stud finders if you are going to be messing with areas anywhere near like electrical wires, things like that. It's definitely key to know where those different things are. And if you don't know, definitely try and hire somebody professional to help double check that stuff because you, you want to be safe with that. And if you're not comfortable using a drill, I mean, don't do this on your own to be able to help out. And I would assume that you're going to be the spade bit is going to be more of like a a big wood drill bit to be able to help out. And it's nice that they're helping to include some of the different silicone to be able to help out and even more um, wall clips. I'm not exactly sure how many, but that'll be nice to be able to help have some of that extra on there to kind of keep stuff locked in place. And I'll be able to finally start doing some good cable management on mine and see how things go. Otherwise though, that's been some of the biggest updates. I was excited to be able to see that. Got the order done. Um, super excited that it is free shipping for these. But I got both of those ordered and be able to help see what happens from there. But otherwise, though, appreciate you watching. Peace, everybody. If you got any different questions, comments, comment down below. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't done that. 